Welcome to melbournefc.com.au. We're talking with uh, Melbourne great Steve Phoebe. And Steve, you just uh, presented the number 21 to Lucas Cook, the number you made famous. Uh, what was that moment like? Yeah, no, look, it relives a few memories of mine. Um, look, it wasn't quite as formal when I, uh, when I started back in 1986. Um, but, you know, I, I know as I saw other players come into the club when I was there, you know, the look on their face and, you know, the delight that uh, they're receiving a jumper of an AFL club, but more importantly, it's the Melbourne Football Club, you know, the oldest f- sporting club in the world. Interesting time, and 25 years uh, this year with the draft, and you were the first Melbourne play drafted, and now Lucas is getting that number, and he's the recent. It's a... Uh... Yeah, well, a lot of science is, you know, going to the drafting and recruiting these days. Um, certainly back in nine, back there with my twin brother, Matthew, it wasn't a hell of a lot of science. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we were basketballers and, you know, Cameron Schwab was actually the junior recruiting officer back in uh, 1986. And uh, we, uh, I suppose we did have the first form of manipulating of the draft um, because Melbourne had a pick before Collingwood and Collingwood had shown more interest, I suppose, than Melbourne did initially. But then Melbourne, you know, took me at number three and mum and dad said that we're not coming to Melbourne unless they go together. And so the other clubs sort of got scared off a little bit and then Matthew came around on the second round. So uh, the draft, you know, it's a, it's a great memory of mine and uh, it's just great now that to see another face, uh, Lucas, who also comes from the sort of the country, who gets his opportunity. 258 games later, your you fifth most games for the footy club. I mean, it's a, an outstanding achievement. Um, just a quick snapshot of how you reflect on your career. Oh, look, I was fortunate. I, I, I came into the club when we had a bit of a resurgence. Uh, back in 87, we made the finals for the first time for a number of years and then uh, played in the grand final in 88 and then, uh, you know, played in final series, as, you know, seven, eight times after that. Um, obviously, playing in two losing grand finals isn't, you know, fantastic, but, you know, the ability to be able to run out there and uh, play in finals footy in, you know, in this great stadium, you know, is one of the memories that I'll always hold dearly from my days in football. And just now, you, you're involved with the footy club? Look, I've stayed involved uh, in, in, some, in some capacity. I'm sta- involved with our past players committee. Um, we have a coterie group, which is made up of all the old, uh, old codgers and, uh, and me, but I, some of them actually walk quicker than me, so that's a bit of a worry. But, you know, still have some great mates and some great times out of footy and, you know, and some friendships that I've made I'll have for life. Very good. Thanks for talking to us, Steve. No worries.